All right, hello everyone. Hope you're having a great day today. I wanted to do another video to share another project from my friend Jose Santos. And Jose, if you don't recognize the name, he's the one behind Agarim OS, the Void Respin. Uh, I showed I showed that in a video or or two, I guess maybe a month ago or so. I'm not really sure how long it's been. But he makes a fantastic Void Respin that makes it easy for you to get up and running with Void Linux. And I was watching some of his videos and I noticed in the description he had a Turex OS. So I clicked on one of the links and basically what it is, it's a script that allows you to quickly install Arch Linux. So let me pull it up here. This is his GitHub page, and you see here a Turex OS. Let me click on that. And a Turex, according to Jose, is a personal modification of this script right here. What he did was he added support for the deep and desktop environment. But other than that, it's the exact same script. And I mean, he's made a few other, you know, small changes. Uh, but it's basically the same script. And what it is, according to this, it is to provide a Debian-like install experience for new users interested in Arch Linux. And really what it's like, if you, if you recall PacBang, the installer used on PacBang, uh, similar to the installer for uh, Void Linux and Nutix, it's very similar. It's a InCurses installer, but it's really easy to use really quick and he gives instructions as does the original script gives instructions right here about downloading and running the script and what you have to do you have to download the actual arch ISO and once you boot into the ISO then you download the script through get and then you run the script so I will come back shortly after I've got this booted up into GNOME boxes and we will see how it goes. I do want to say I did install this at home because I wanted to test it. I wanted to see how it worked and it was fantastic. I did run into one issue about updating the mirror list I think it was and I think in this one I just won't update the mirror list but I want you to see how quick and simple and easy it is to use this script. All right, so I will be back momentarily after I have everything booted and set up in GNOME boxes. Be right back. Okay, so here we are. We have the Arch ISO booted up in GNOME boxes. I have the, uh, the instructions over here on my text editor and what we're going to do I had tried this yesterday and had some issues so the first thing I'm going to do instead of jumping right into those instructions I'm going to run pacman dash syyu go ahead and let it update now when we actually get into the script where we install arch I will go full screen so it'll be a little easier for you to see Now I'm not going to run this up, upgrade, but what I am going to do is install the Arch Linux keyring. Whoops! What was I doing? <laughs> oh, God, Pac-Man. <laughs> Dang. 
slash key ring. Yes. The reason I'm doing this was yesterday I was having some issues uh, with actually running these commands. It wasn't wanting to install anything because it was saying some of the keys weren't valid. So I thought I would try this and we will see what goes on. Hopefully it will work. And you can see, I, this isn't the smoothest experience. <laughs> okay, keyring was installed. Now, I only gave this uh, virtual machine one gigabyte of RAM. I only have four, gig, uh, four gigs of RAM and two CPUs. So, I'm using one gigabyte of RAM devoted to the virtual machine and one of my CPUs is using it so this isn't going to be the fastest and smoothest uh, video you've probably ever seen but that's okay I just wanted to show off uh, Jose's uh, project here alright so what we're going to do we're going to run this first command right here and install git and dialog so let's go ahead and do that pacman dash s y g i t dialog no confirm I don't know why that no confirm well I know why it's there what I'm saying is I don't know why it's there because to me it takes longer to type dash dash no confirm <laughs> than it does just hit enter when it asks you if you want to proceed <laughs> Oh, and I'm not saying anything against it. You know, people people have different tastes. They want to do things differently, and whatever suits them, that's what suits them, and that's fine. Okay, so we have that installed. So now we need to get clone. Uh, get clone. Get get hub. Get hub. Dot com. Oops, dot com Gorga Wine Oops Gorga Wine uh, Turrets Dash O S Okay, and now we need to CD into a Turex dash OS and and Gmod the script so that we can run it and and run the script. Oh, I misspelled it. Okay. Sorry about that. All right, we're into the script now. So let me go full screen so you can hopefully see this better. All right. Now, I'm not going to read everything here. I will leave it up to you if you want to run this script and install Arch Linux in a very easy manner. Begin installation, yes, so I'll hit enter on my keyboard. U.S., this is the key map. U.S., United States, that's correct. I'll hit enter. English US UTF-8, that's correct for the locale, so I will hit enter. Select your time zone. Now I'm going to hit N on my keyboard to get a little bit closer to it quicker. Oh no, 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 I'm sorry. 
America. Now I'm going to hit in New York. There we go. Would you like a uh, clock set to UTC? Yes. Uh, tour arch. Okay. Root password. Re enter the root password. And I love these uh, installers that don't make you enter certain characters or a certain amount of characters. You can do whatever you want. Alright, full name for the user is Dan. Username Dan in lowercase. Username password. And now you get a chance to choose from these options on how you want to partition your disk. I'm just going to choose basic because that's what I always do. But you have LVM and encrypted. Okay. Go to basic dev SDA. That's the one I want to uh, partition. And I am going to choose ext4 and there's also 3, 2, btrfs and xfs but I'm going to go with ext4 would you like to create an optional swap partition yes yes I would one gigabyte that's good that's what I already had set up okay there we go hit okay Alright, all data on the selected disk will be lost. Make sure to review your changes before continuing. Disk is going on partition on SDA, basic EXT4, and a swap of one gigabyte. Are you sure? Use the arrow key to go over to yes and hit enter. And it's formatting dev SDA. Now when it actually starts installing the system, okay, let me stop right here. Here's where it asks you to update the mirror list. I'm going to hit no, because I've run, when I actually installed this on hardware, it, it failed to update the mirror list. When I tried it on an earlier installation here on known boxes, it failed. So I'm just going to hit no. And by the way, to me, I didn't notice any difference whether it updated the mirror list or not when I installed it. And when I installed packages, it didn't matter. So I'm going to hit no. Would you like to enable multi-lib? No, I don't need multi-lib. Do you want to install a desktop environment? So let's look at the desktop environments that are included. You get Budgie, Cinnamon, Deepin, that's the one that Jose added. Gnome, Plasma, LXDE, LXQT, and Mate. But I'm going to go back because I, I just have this, this strange desire to install Openbox. <laughs> but window managers, you get to choose between awesome. BSPWM, Fluxbox, I3, Openbox, and Xmonad. And we're going with Openbox, so I'm going to click OK. Would you like to install a graphical login manager? Yes. You get GDM, LightDM, or SDDM. I'm going with LightDM. OK, the installer has detected a virtual environment and will install the necessary drivers or utilities. Okay. It's ready to be installed. And it gives you a list of what's going to be installed, but trust me, there's a whole lot more than that. So hit yes. I will let you see all these packages run by before I actually start the installation. Look at that. Oh dear. Look at oh Oh, goodness gracious. Look at all. All right. So <laughs> if you can see this, it's going to install or it's going to download almost 600 megabytes and the installed size will be almost 2300. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video while all this is installing and when it's over I will come back. I will be right back. Okay, we're almost finished. Installing Grub. I mean this is really a very easy other than having to write down your instructions, you know, and uh, type in those few little instructions in, it's a very easy and fast way for you to install Arch Linux. Hold on, I need to step away for just a moment. I will be right back. I'm not going to pause the video. I'll let you continue watching. Alright, I'm back and now we can reboot, power off or exit. I'm going to power off. That seems to work best for me in known boxes. Everything is finished installing so let's power off and we will start it over again. Okay, let's start that one. We'll go full screen as soon as I'm able to. You momentarily saw the grub screen there. We should boot into LightDM and it will already have my name, which is a nice little touch. almost there. Again, don't let how slow my machine is make you think it's going to be this slow on your machine. <laughs> if you have a, a powerful machine, it's going to go a lot faster. Alright, there's our light DM screen. You can see my name's already filled in. So I will enter my password. Oh, look at that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> when an open box user sees this, they feel like the painter with a blank canvas. The sculptor with a raw piece of stone. Or the person who makes pottery with just a lump of clay is just waiting there for you to to do with it what you want. You do get this basic menu. Now don't be fooled. A lot of this stuff. I'll go ahead and click on calculator. That's not installed. Oh, it's not installed. Luckily, PC Man FM's there, but it's not installed yet. Do. The only thing basically here that you have to work with is Xterm. So let me open Xterm and I will, and by the way, sudo is uh, enabled out of the box. sudo pacman dash s pcman fm. There's no need to do an su or syyu, any of that stuff. You just installed it. Okay. I mean, you can if you want to. But I'm not going to do that right now. If you recall earlier in the video, there were updates already available. 
and one of the updates was a kernel. Yes, I want to install it. The reason I'm installing this right now is just to show you what is available as far as what applications are pre-installed because there's not very many. Alright, that's finished so I will exit that. Now I can open PC Man FM. Come on, baby. You can do it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now, I'm not going to click on applications. Let me go to user share apply. There we go. So basically all you get, you get network manager and I just installed PC Man FM Light DM Greeter PAVU Control and that's it. The rest is up to you. This is an easy way for you to install a vanilla Arch installation and customize it to your heart's content. I'll post a link in the description where you can read the directions for a Turex OS from Jose Santos. So there you go guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a little long winded but I hope you got something out of it and I think you'll enjoy this. If you want a vanilla Arch installation that doesn't come with a lot of applications pre-installed that will allow you to make it your own this might be what you're looking for. All right, you guys have a great day and rest of the week and take care. Thanks.